Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is Lake Luke Fi and I am here to review the Black Ops 4 beta, the private beta, you know, all that. I played it the past week or two, and I feel like I have a pretty good idea of what the game is and, you know, all that stuff. So, I, I'm level 20, 23 or something, so I, I, I'd say I have... I've used a lot of the weapons, I, I know what the game is, and am here to provide my opinions, and if you haven't played it, maybe I can, you know, discuss it with you. So, starting off, we're going to talk about weapons. So for me, weapons is kind of a mixed bag. I think the weapons themselves, they aren't bad. They're, they're fine. But the thing is, the time to kill was turned up to 125, in, or, I'm um, sorry, 150 this game. Which, in my opinion, that's a little bit too high. I think 125 would have worked perfectly, because I think the the turned up time to kill perfectly helps the fact that, or the idea that you can turn a battle around on someone. In the old Call of Duty games, as much as I love them, if you're getting shot at, you're gonna die. Like, unless you have a good way to get out of that situation, you're gonna die. It's not like that in this game. In this game, as long as you can find some quick cover, stim pack yourself, you can turn the you can turn the tide on, on that battle, which I think is awesome because that it adds a whole different level to the game. The same thing with the stem pack. The stem pack adds to the experience in a very interesting way. I think the stem pack. I personally think the stem pack is a great, great like thing to add to the game. I originally thought that it would slow down the flow of the game, but I was wrong. I I love the stem pack. I think it's better than health regeneration, at least for this game. But, um, yeah. But, back to the weapons. Uh, the weapons, I think they, they're, they're well designed, I guess. They're, they feel fun, I guess. They feel, you know, but the thing with that is, it's just, it's too hard to kill someone. I don't want to spend 20 bullets just trying to kill one person. But, that's just me. If you love the time to kill being high, I can see why. It adds a different level of, like, skill to the game which i think if that's what you want then that's that's great but they really need to buff some weapons so like the shotgun needs to be buffed like that's supposed to be like a one hit weapon like come on guys but moving on also i want to get out of the way they really need to do something about the armor it sucks there's like a equipment called the armor which is it's horrible i don't know what they were thinking when they added that in but whatever but, uh, moving on next, we have specialists. I think the specialists, they're, they're, they're fine. Like, I, I've only used a few, so I can't really talk about this that much. I've used mainly Ruin, and I've used Firebreak, mostly. I, I've tried out a few different ones when those two were taken, but overall, they add a different level, they add a different level to the game that's not just a reskin of Black Ops 3 specialists. They, they are very different. Freaking uh, Ruin has a grappling hook, which is so incredibly fun. That's It's so fun. But uh, Firebreak also has the, you know, what is it called? The, like, he puts down a radiation trap and it slowly, like, hurts people. There's also barbed wire you get now. There's the Tempest shot, you know, all that. I, honestly, I'm, I'm okay with specialists. I think they're, they're completely fine. I would have liked to see... More, more new ones because a lot of them are taken straight from Black Ops 3. But that's that's just me. If if you're okay with you know having some reskinned Black Ops 3, and then and honestly they're not even reskins. Like their specialist ability is a reskin, but they also have their equipment thing, and that's that's completely different from Black Ops 3 because I wasn't in Black Ops 3. But moving on next, we have maps, and honestly this is kind of where it is for me. Like, why I don't really, I'm not incredibly in hype for this beta, is I don't think the maps are great, in my opinion. I don't think they are. Like, I've, I'm used, I love the Black Ops 2 maps that are so vibrant and, you know, whatever. And this game does have, this is my favorite map that you're seeing right now. I'm pretty sure it's called Seaside. It is, it, it reminds me of those old Black Ops 2 maps. But there's maps like Payload, Frequency, Contraband is nice, but Payload and Frequency, they're not great maps. They're not well-designed maps. And they do follow the three-lane formula, I'm pretty sure. They have a few different different things with them. 
But I'm not, I don't think the map design is great in this game. And if this is the, because normally in a beta, they're going to put out their best stuff because they want people to, uh, you know, pre-order it. They want people to be excited for the game. So I'm really hoping this isn't their best, the best maps in the game, which honestly they might be. And if so, then that, that drives me sad because I really don't think the maps are great besides Seaside. Seaside is fine. But um, as for game modes, they didn't really offer up that much. I think Chaos Team Deathmatch is probably my favorite just because I don't I don't I don't play Call of Duty for tactical tactical gameplay. I play it because I wanna be a slayer, I wanna go have fun. But they added in a lot more tactical feeling. So that's that's not for me. They don't have domination, you can only play it in like a mosh pit game mode, which I I don't wanna risk doing that. So they also have search and destroy, heist and control. I really like control actually. I think control is really fun. But, yeah, um, now here's the part of it that really kind of kills it for me, is that although they made a lot of different, like, they improved the game in a lot of different ways, it's still, it's still Call of Duty. And for me, I think it's happening. This, over the past few years, I'm just tired of Call of Duty gameplay. I, mean, I think it's just, it's been around 13, 14 years. That we've had Call of Duty, and I think I'm finally getting tired of it. I've played probably the past like eight or so. I've I've been playing it since Black Ops One, Modern Warfare Two. So that's that sucks that I'm I'm feeling like that. And um, honestly, I don't know if it because if people are enjoying this gameplay, like it plays exactly like old Call of Duty games. They have a few new things in. But it's just, I don't think it's for me anymore. I used to love Call of Duty more than anything. It used to be like my favorite video game franchise of all time. But it's just, it's not anymore. If I have a choice between this, Red Dead Redemption 2, Spy the new Spider-Man game, or even Fallout 76, I would choose any of those games over this. Assassin or actually, not Fallout. Maybe, yeah, let's replace Fallout with the new Assassin's Creed. There, I would choose any of those games over this just because I've played a Call of Duty game so many times. Honestly, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. If they didn't have zombies in this game, I might not even pick this up. Not saying it's bad gameplay, it's just the same. And I can go back and I can play Black Ops 3 to play this game. And of course, it does have different gameplay innovations, stuff like that. But it's just not enough for me. I really, really am not excited to play the multiplayer or even the blackout really blackout i'm not really excited for either i don't know i i was so excited for this game too i was really hoping for i think it's campaign the lack of campaign that killed it for me but honestly i'm sad honestly <laughs> like i really and i really 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 wanted to like this game guys black ops 2 is one of my favorite games ever made I really, really love Black Ops 1. It's probably my second favorite Call of Duty. I'm pretty sure it is my second favorite Call of Duty. But, and I, re I actually really like Black Ops 3 too, but this is just, it's just t too little t at this point. It's been going for so long, and I'm kind of rambling at this point. But yeah, honestly, if you love this, that's incredibly, that I'm happy for you. I just can't. Not anymore. World War II, I didn't like. I didn't like, uh, Infinite Warfare, I didn't like Advanced Warfare, I didn't like Ghost, so I'm really sad to see Black Ops 4 not, like, not enjoying the multiplayer. And who knows, maybe if they make a bunch of changes by the time the game comes out, I'm gonna love that. But, am I gonna pick this up? I am going to get the Standard Edition. I'm not gonna get the, I was gonna get the Pro Edition, but after this I'm kinda like, I don't wanna pay $120 for a game that I'll potentially play. For eight hours i shouldn't even pay 60 dollars to play a game that i'm potentially gonna play for eight hours but the zombies mode is really what's gonna make me spend the 60 bucks and if you're not gonna if you don't want to do that that's fine if you like that's that's just me and no one can talk me out of that because i really really want to play blood of the dead and even i really liked black ops 3 zombies even though i didn't think it even touched black ops 1 or even two i guess two out of two out of mob of the dead and origins which are incredible so yeah i mean that that's me if you guys love the game the beta then all props to you i'm really happy for you but it's just not for me thank you all for watching the video and i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did 
maybe hit the like button watch some and if you didn't maybe check out some of my other content i don't really post stuff like this i do sometimes but yeah check out some of my content and if you like that you should like the video and subscribe all right thank you all for watching and i'll see you all later have a fantastic day goodbye